As our ship lay sinking in the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood-spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Others had taken their place. The prince made his way along the torn and blasted district, haunted by visions from his past. The dockside tavern where he'd spent many late nights was now reduced to cinders. Babylon's proud armada, which he would often come to greet, lay cracked and broken, cast to the bottom of the Euphrates. Everywhere there are signs of battle, but what of Babylon's guard? Where have they all gone? Is this where I should resume the tale next time? Good. Why is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? Still, it's better than nothing.
Lena. No! I will have to climb this siege tower and enter from above. I can sense the others who have passed through this place, intent on bringing harm to my family. Four weeks I've been at sea, and every day spent dreaming of my return to Babylon. But never, in all my visions of the future, did I suspect a homecoming such as this. War. It is the only answer. But war with who? And why? This is where I should resume good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. You should know that it was not love that drove him, but duty. I was his responsibility. He had made a promise, a promise that was now broken and undone. As with all mistakes he had made, the prince meant to fix this. A noble goal to be certain but a selfish one as well, for he was motivated to ease his own pain. I know these streets. Knew them anyway. I must keep pace with Kylina if I am to find the one responsible for this. 
Continue my I will continue my story from
Where is kind Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers? Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do? Gone. All gone. Where is kind Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers? Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do? Gone. All gone.
Should I continue? Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. Home. And yet nothing is as I remember. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. What has happened here?
I should be resting now, recovering from my time away, or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about like a common thief, hunted in my own city.
this where I should resign? I will continue my story from here next time. Pay attention to what the prince overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept. Shall I continue? Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim its secrets. What we discovered was a barren, <laughs> place. Its halls are deserted, its guardians have gone to sand. The strange symbols adorned its walls, which empress, an empress of time. But of this enigmatic creature, there was no trace. We returned to India with treasure nonetheless, a staff. A dagger, an empty hourglass covered in jewels, and books. Such secrets they contained. For even then I was an older man and knew that my time would soon be at an end. The books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach, but it required the essence of the Empress herself, the power of the sands. But you were gone. They were gone. Or so I thought. I turned my attention towards other pursuits and left that dream behind. But then, four weeks ago, the dagger stirred and showed me that me in my sleep, towards Babylon. Alas, the Maharaja did not share my vision, would not let me leave. So I slew him and claimed his kingdom, his army for my own. Nothing would stand between me and my desire.
Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. <laughs> Father, forgive what I have done, wherever you are. But this tale is far from over. The palace is falling! Run for your lives! <laughs> Should I continue from here? I will continue my story from here next time.
continue my story. Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. Once more, the wheels of suffering are set in motion by my hand. In taking Kylina from the island of time, I have changed the course of history. Without the sands of time, I never journeyed to Azad, never killed the Vizier. Now he lives again, driven by the same mad desire. I promised no harm would come to her. Should I continue from I will continue my story from here next time. I am being pushed deeper into the palace and further from my enemy. My arm! What's happening? What has the Vizier done to me? I don't... Oh! Everything had come full circle. The Prince had resurrected his greatest enemy. Worse, he had accidentally delivered me into the man's hands, unleashing a nightmare plague across Babylon. As if this was not enough, the Prince had nearly been transformed by the Sands himself. Though he had avoided death, he had not escaped entirely untouched. Wake up, Prince. Wake up. Wake up! The way behind you is gone, so you will have to find another exit from these sewers. Be quick about it. Start moving. What? Who's there? Be careful. The planks are slick. Mind your balance. Ugh. 
do not seem to like the light. Lead them into the light! Strike while they are blind! Done.
I become? A sand monster? Call it what you will, Prince. But you have been given the ability to destroy your enemies. Now use it. What benefit is this? Even as I fight them, I grow weaker. Kill them then. Let their lives replenish yours. Feels good, does it not? I assume this is not permanent? It is, if you want it to be. I do not. But you will. Why then is this happening to me? You have been infected by the sands of time, as I am sure you have noticed. Maybe it's the dagger, maybe it's all the time you've spent amongst the sands, or <laughs> amongst the Empress. Either way, you are resisting it. Mostly. Mostly? You did just transform into something rather unique, so I think the word is quite appropriate. Think of it this way. You have been given a gift. You're stronger, faster, uglier. Now, now. That explains the transformation. But who are you? Have you not realized? I am your untapped potential, your unrealized dreams. I am part of you. You... You're inside me?
on now? Water seems to fight this corruption. Why did you hide this from me? What? And ruin all the fun? <gasps> Impressive.
Is this where I should resume the tale? Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. When the prince was struck by the sands of time, something was walking within. Something strange and cunning. Something dark. The seven years spent on the run had embittered the prince and made him hard. This burden sustained his other half, gave it strength. The prince was tempted to do as it said, for it was a light in the darkness, offering comfort and guidance to a man who had just lost everything. But what were its intentions? Why did it help him? Only time would tell. Father would tell me stories. Pay attention. About... Something's happening down there. Is that? It's the vizier. He has been completely transformed. Interesting. He has used the power of the sands to transform his army, and these artifacts will allow him to transport them across the city with ease. He appears to be in complete control. Things do not look too good for you at the moment. I will not let the Vizier have Babylon. My city. My throne. He has used that beam as a gate. We will follow. Should I continue? I will continue my story from here next time.
Well, that certainly went according to plan, did it not? You really should know by now that entering portals made of sand only leads to trouble. I will simply have to resort to a more traditional form of transport. Ah! I will simply have to resort to a more traditional form of transport. Hopefully with greater success. Separate them into groups. Send the weak ones to the workshop. Please, I beg of you, let us go. Well done!
That chariot should get us home. Are you 
sure you can control this thing? Let us hope! If I crash, it is the end for both of us! The Prince! Stop him! And so once more the Prince began the journey home. His mind a fire with visions of the justice he would visit upon the Vizier. Be vigilant. Done well, Prince. Though I'm sure it is not intentional. Watch out! That was close. Hide that column. The once bright and vibrant streets of Babylon now stood all but deserted, its inhabitants either dead or fled. Those left behind suffered terribly, captured, tortured, and transformed. But the prince did not notice this. So focused was he on the vizier. I'm impressed. Oh, good. Your opinion means a great deal to me. Is that how you thank the man who just saved your life? First, you did not save my life. I did. Second, you are not a man. Just a disembodied voice. A ghost. And third, I never asked for your help. And I certainly do not need it. While I admire your bravado, you would be wise to show some respect. And you would be wise to keep quiet. You are distracting me and we are no longer alone. Should I continue from here when you... I will continue my story from here next time. Go! Put him with the others! Why are you doing this? We have done nothing wrong! Save your crying for someone who cares! I should do something. Go ahead! All to your death! 
That will be of great use to them. Something is happening down there. Whatever it is, it will continue until you have defeated the Vizier. You cannot help these people. Then let us make haste. before they steal any more from you.
onward and upward, Prince. Hurry to the palace and reclaim your throne. I'm moving as fast as I can. What do you suggest? That I grow wings and fly? One can always dream. Babylon's defenders still live. The city is not yet taken. Perhaps father is among them. Is this where I should resume? Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. Interesting. What is this? Someone helping us? Who is there? You have done me a great service. Show yourself, that I might thank you. So very strange. I wonder... No. It is silly to think such things.
Not bad. No more rooftops. Indeed. Irritating little detour. But let us be on with it. Head down to street level and we will look for a way to regain the rooftops. You are an insistent inner voice, aren't you? Well, someone has to make the decisions.
continue my story I will continue my story from here next time I don't like the looks of this this thing was once a man he was there when Kylina died For the eyes, please. He cannot kill you if he cannot see you.
robbed him of his sight. Now bring him to his knees. see you. Move in and attack him directly. Is this where I should resume the good? This is a final place to start the tale.